Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server video tutorial. Before I go into today's topic, I would like to thank you all for the excellent support that you have been offering me and the encouragement which you are showing me by clicking on the likes and leaving your valuable comments to my videos. Thank you all once again for your support. Today's topic for our discussion is CTE. So what is CTE? CTE is a common table expression which means it's a table. In simple words, it's a table. Table which is based on an expression. So definition for CTE is CTE is a temporary result set that is temporary table which is the result set of an evaluated expression. Okay, I'll show you what is CTE here. First go to the SQL Server and then connect to whatever the database that you want to use. So as I already told you, CT is a temporary result set of a evaluated expression. So in simple words, you have an expression which means here a command set of commands. The result set of executing those commands will be stored in a temporary table. That is CT. That is common table expression. In simple words, CT is a table which is a table, common table based on an expression. Okay. Syntax for CTE is with. With is a keyword that we have to use for creating a CTE, for creating a common table expression. With followed by table name and in brackets column names. Then followed by as keyword. Inside the brackets we have to give the expression that is select query. Select query. The result set of this select query will be stored in the table name that is CTE table. Now we know the definition for CTE and the syntax for the CTE. Let's see an example for CTE now. Before we go into the example, let's take the data from a student's table. I'll show you what data I have in student's table. Select start from student's table. So as you can see here, I have so many records like 10,000 plus records in my students table and most of the records are repeated. See as you can see here, first record and the second record and the fourth record is a repeated set. Okay, so here first name, last name and city. These three are the select distinct first name, last name and city from students table. So here I just have seven records, seven distinct records with a distinct first name, last name and uh, city combination. What we'll do here now is we'll create a CTE common table expression for these distinct records. Okay. So syntax as I have told you already, it's with followed by the table name. That is my common table expression name is students underscore CTE columns which I need or I have to provide them inside the brackets first name last name and city keyword inside the brackets again we have to give the expression that is select statement select distinct first name last name and city from students table and followed by the city followed by we'll use the city that is select star from students underscore city now students underscore city table have distinct records from students table that is students underscore city is based on that expression distinct star from students table let's go to the properties of the CTE CTE definition cannot exist independently that is the first property of the CTE so let's execute only the first part without uh, using select star from students underscore CTE as you can see here it will throw an error saying that incorrect syntax near bracket closing bracket which means that CTE definition is expecting CTE usage immediately after its definition. When you execute CTE definition alone, it will throw an error. When you execute CTE definition along with CTE usage, that is CTE table has to be used either for insert, update, delete immediately after its definition. So which means CTE definition should be preceded by its usage. We can do 
second property is we can perform only one operation using CT. We can perform either insert, update, delete, select, or any of the DML operations. Okay, we can perform any of the DML operations in only one operation using CT. In my earlier example, I have shown you how we can use students underscore CTE table for evaluating select query. Okay. There I have shown you CTE definition followed by select star from students underscore CTE table. That is the example for select query, select operation using CTE. Then we'll go. So in this example, whenever we insert one record into CTE table, that will affect the main table. That is in this case, when we insert one record into students underscore CTE table, then this record will be inserted in students table. Okay, let's see this with an example. First, we have to provide the CTE definition that is same as with students underscore CTE followed by column names as and uh, select distinct star, uh, distinct first name, last name and CTE from table. Then followed by insert into students CTE, CTE values. We have to provide values. Here I am inserting one record uh, with the name Shelly. Okay, I inserted this record into students underscore CTE table. Let's check students table now whether this record exists in students table or not okay select star from students table but first name is Shelly this record exists which means that whenever we do some operation on CTE table it will directly affect us main table L let's do similar operation like let's go for the update example I updated the last name for this record which I already inserted into students CTE table I'll update the last name as Eng for this record where uh, first name is Shelly. Once we are done with this update, we'll select the data from students table that is main table not from the CTE table. Okay, this update is done. So as you can see here, the last name is affected. Similarly, we'll do the delete operation on CT table and we'll see what will happen. And delete from students underscore CT where first name is. So if I do this operation, it will delete this record from main table as well. It will delete this record from students table as well. So as I already told you, we, we can perform only one operation, one DML operation using CT. So let's say I am doing the first operation delete operation in CTE table and then again I am selecting the data from students underscore CTE table. Okay, this is I am trying to perform two operations using CTE table. So we should perform only one operation. Okay, we'll see what will happen if we do two operations using CT table. We'll execute this command, all of them together. So as you can see here, it is throwing an error saying that there is no table with the name students underscore CT, which means when we do one operation using CT table, its scope will end there itself. So CTE table will not be available for the further operations. So now I commented that delete operation and I am doing the select operation alone. So it's working now, which means we can do only one operation using CTE table. This is one limitation of the CTE table. And another, another property of the CTE is it should be used immediately after its definition. So I'll show you what I mean by immediately after its definition here so first we'll create the CTA table we'll use the same example as the above okay. and I'll show you with the example again so I, I am deleting that uh, delete operation from that statement so I executed CTA with just a select star from students CTA table just only one operation so it executed successfully now let's 
do one more operation in between that is select get date from get date followed by the cte usage so when we use this it is throwing an error saying that incorrect syntax there is no syntax uh, actually error here it is throwing this error because cte should be used immediately after its definition there shouldn't be any other operation between the cte definition and cte usage since we are doing one operation here it's throwing that error so we should use it immediately let's see a, a perfect example where we can use cte okay we'll see the example for deleting the duplicate records from a table using cte as of now we have seen what is cte and what are the different properties of the cte now let's see a perfect example for cte in real time scenarios where we can use this cte first let's create a table employee table with a id first name last name and the salary columns i created this table first and then i'll insert few records into this table insert into employee table values 1 comma followed by some names and salary i inserted this record first record again i will insert this record one more time similarly we'll uh, insert the same record one more time so i am inserting this first record three times and i'll create a second record with a id 2 and i'll insert this record as well into the table then we'll insert one more record with a id 4 uh, sorry id 3 then we'll insert one more record with the id 4 onto the table okay we'll we'll insert this record three times again now so which means we are duplicating the records we are inserting the duplicate records into employee table let's select the data from the employee table select star from employee as you can see here for the id 1 we have three duplicate records i mean we have two duplicate records one original record and two duplicate records similarly for id 4 we have two duplicate records which means we need only one record but there are three three records for id 1 and id 4 now what we need to do is we need to identify the duplicate records and we have to delete those duplicate records what we'll do is we'll give the numbering for this duplicate records using the row number function row number is a system function in sql server i'll explain in detail about this function in my next video for now i'll just brief you about this row number function syntax for this row number is select row number over partition by and order by column names from whatever the table that we want so here what row number will do is row number will give the numbering based on that partition in each partition it will give the numbering so in our case partitioning is done based on the id so id 1 is one partition 2 is another partition 3 is another partition 4 is different partition so for each partition in each partition records will be numbered like in partition 1 so partition 1 is id 1 for id 1 row number will be given 1 2 3 so id 2 is a different partition so again row number will start from 1 id 3 is a different partition each partition in each partition numbering will be given so in partition 1 row number 1 is the unique record and 2 and 3 are duplicate records as you can see here so in each partition row numbering is given 2 and 3 are duplicates only row number 1 is the original record what we'll do now is we'll create a cte so with employee cte 
column name says I just need row number that is fine for me so row number so in this case when row number is greater than 1 which means that record is a duplicate record so I am just selecting row number into my CTE table with employee CTE row number as we will select this select query and next we can perform one operation right using CTE that we will do CTE uh, delete operation here using CTE so delete from this CTE table employee CTE table when we delete one record from CTE table it will affect the main table as we already discussed so delete from employee CTE where row number is greater than 1 so now we will do select start from employee table we will see what are the records that we have ideally this operation should delete duplicate records from employee table we will execute this and now execute the employee table see duplicate records are deleted from this table this is one way using CTE we can delete the duplicate records this is sometimes asked as an interview question how we can delete the duplicate records from a table using CTE to summarize what we have learned today CTE common table expression it is the temporary result set of an evaluated expression coming to the properties CTE definition cannot exist independently CTE definition should be followed by its usage we can perform only one operation be it select, insert, update, join etc. using CTE CTE should be used immediately after its definition hope this video helped you in learning about CTE thanks for watching my videos please leave your valuable comments and please do subscribe to my channel thanks